and Quara State Commissioner for Women Affairs, Abosa De Braimo, urged women to showcase their abilities and contribute to Nigeria's development during International Women's Day. And she noted that the state government's policy on 35% affirmative action for women's participation in governance. For this year's um uh, International Women's Day is accelerating gender equity through economic empowerment. And uh, to women folks, just to encourage them that whatever you are good at, please showcase it. Of course, we have an limited environment here in Kwara State, and uh, this is evident in the uh, 50 percent, I mean, 35 percent affirmative uh, uh, endorsement by His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kwara State. And also in, in his cabinet, we have 50 percent of women, and uh, that cut across. Uh, various strategic places where women lead. So we have an environment already. So as uh, we women, I uh, just want to encourage us that we should use that enabling environment to strive. So we have so many skills endowed in us. And uh, so we should be left alone to showcase it and also to contribute our quotas to the development of our country. And women participating in the work called on other Nigerian states to emulate Kwara State in providing women with an enabling environment to operate. Uh, my governor, His Excellency Governor Abdurrahman Abdurazak, CON, is also the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum. So I know that he's going to appear and he will be on the neck of his uh, brother governors to ensure that in their own states too, they replicate what we are doing in Kwara State. We have VAP, VAP violence against um, person prohibition law. It actually dealt severely with violence against women. Unlike the penal code law that is, you know, that was um, 1963 or far, far long ago, they didn't really talk well on uh, violence against women.